Let's talk about Faro and 3D scanning for engineering. So who is Faro? Well, they offer both scanning hardware and software that will use those 3D scans for lots of different ways. So let's, uh, let's first talk about the capabilities, then we'll talk about the applications. So first off, uh, Faro offers what's called a scan arm. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a, it's like a little gun attached to an uh, arm that you can move around a part and you can use it to make certain measurements. And actually, it's very similar to a CMM, except it's manually uh, moved around. Uh, one of the unique things about their offering uh, is that uh, it supports up to eight axis of um, movement. So you can, you can actually move around a part while it sits physically still and take different measurements from different angles. Uh, this can also be coordinated with a turntable so that as you turn a part around on the turntable and then you take measurements, it is connected and it, it knows the part has turned. So that's all coordinated. So that is the scan arm, that's contact measurement. Another option that they have is a structured light scanner. Um, and basically this is a non-contact scanning technology. Uh, basically it scans the part without touching it. Uh, and you can basically, you, you kind of like have a, it can be stationary or you can move it around as well, move it around the part to get a 360 degree scan of a part. Um, and that not only captures the shape of it in a point cloud, but also it captures color. Uh, so not only can you um, get the shape of it, but actually you're imprinting the color on top of that as well, which is very interesting. The third kind of component here is that they offer uh, software to work with both of that sets of the, the data that is generated from using the, the um, scanning arm, which is the contact one, and the structured light scanner, which is the non-contact option. Um, and you can do all sorts of interesting things with the data there, or you can take it over to another tool that will work with that 3D data, and there's, there's lots of other options that are out there today. So, okay, so, so that's the capabilities that you have with Faro. Let's talk about the applications now. And there's really kind of four uh, that are prevalent for engineering. So one is scan to 3D. So instead of actually having to model uh, a part, maybe that already exists, maybe it's an old part, maybe it failed, uh, you can scan that instead, instead of having to rebuild that using 3D model features in a mechanical CAD application. Right, so there's an accelerated path there that's interesting. You can still get that into the CAD application and use it alongside other modeled parts. Uh, another one is uh, scan to print. So you can scan it in, you can get the 3D model, and then you can then send that directly to um, 3D printing or additive uh, manufacturing equipment. Right, so you can go directly, you can actually skip CAD completely and we had a different video about this recently. And actually as part of that step, you can actually apply generative uh, design capabilities through tools um, that are out there today that are independent of CAD. So that's, that's very uh, interesting. Another one is uh, automated inspection. Okay, so, so you can use this to kind of close the manufacturing loop as parts are coming off the line. You can take scans of them and then compare them to the original 3D model and see what the variance is and see if that falls within certain um, tolerances or uh, constraints. And you can close the loop on the manufacturing process, make modifications to the design so it actually ends up with what you intend in, in terms of the geometry. That's the third application. The fourth application is really uh, using the scanning capabilities for AR and VR. Right, so you can scan a large environment, right, and you can actually t make that the environment for uh, a digital twin uh, that's running, that's connected to the IoT, the Internet of Things. You can use that for a simulation. You can use it for a VR or AR experience, like something like, you know, like with a Unity or, or Euphoria or something like that. And that's, that's also very, very interesting. So, so there's lots of different applications. There's four of them that we talked about. 
Uh, now, what makes Faro interesting or unique? Why are they different? Um, I think one of the key things is they have offerings with various levels of precision, right? So if you, if you don't need a lot of precision, there are lower cost products that will meet your needs, that'll get you into these workflows or these applications. But if you have very high needs of precision, like you're doing quality inspection type of work, um, or you're trying to close the loop, or you really are trying to do like uh, reverse engineering and you need high precision, they are, there are higher quality, higher precision offerings that Faro offers, provides, um, that will suit those needs as well. Uh, so that's, that's one big advantage that they provide. Another one is having an integrated suite, right? So you can, you have these inspection 3D scanning capabilities, uh, and there are software tools that go along with it where they're integrated. They're meant to work together and they work fairly seamlessly together. So that's what it can do in terms of capabilities that Faro offers. Those are the four applications we talked about for 3D scanning that, that Ferro supports. And we talked about some of the differentiators for them as well. So that's it. Take care and talk soon.